Dr. Jennifer Doudna is a proud 1981 graduate of Hilo High School. She's also one of the world's most recognized scientists after co-inventing CRISPR Case 9 gene editing. She won a Nobel Prize for this, and I was lucky enough to get to chat with her this week. I know you get this all the time, but could you sort of give us a CRISPR 101 for dummies? For me, really, explain how it works and what it's all about. Well, I guess I would, I would start by saying CRISPR in, in nature, CRISPR is an immune system that works in bacteria. And so it helps bacteria fight viruses by finding them and then cutting them up. And so in my research, we started investigating how that works. And that led to an understanding of how CRISPR can be used for something different in plant and animal and human cells, namely for changing DNA. DNA sequences in a precise fashion. And so it's, a, it's now become a, a widely adopted toolbox for scientists to manipulate DNA sequences. We can change even a single letter in the code of DNA in a human cell, for example. And it's used not only for research, but also for correcting disease-causing mutations and for doing a lot of really cool stuff in agriculture. And let's talk about some of the accomplishments or some of those really those human applications that you were mentioning. Let's just talk about what everyone's talking about, the coronavirus. Your lab really went into high gear when the pandemic hit, stopped everything what you guys were doing to really focus on this virus. Why? I think, you know, when you have a uh, when you have a skill set that can come to bear on a problem like the pandemic, um, the right thing to do is to, is to pivot and, and focus on it. And that's exactly what we did. And by the way, not only uh, my own academic lab, but also the institute that I run, the Innovative Genomics Institute uh, that I founded, uh, many of our member labs did the same thing. And so as a result, we started a clinical testing lab. So we've been providing, we now run tens of, of thousands of tests uh, to test people at Berkeley, but also many of our healthcare partners in the community, for example, firefighters, we do all of their uh, testing at, in our lab. And uh, getting back to CRISPR, we actually are pretty excited about the way that CRISPR can be used as a diagnostic. And there's a lot of effort currently to make sure that uh, it becomes a tool that can be used in, in, a, in a, a point of care setting. So just in a, in a dormitory or a, in, a, an institutional space, and maybe someday as an at-home test as well. You just won the Nobel Prize, huge. And I know there was one point I saw in an interview where you said you were asleep when you got the news from a nature reporter actually called and broke the news to you. Talk about learning you won and what, a, what that was like for you. Yeah, really crazy. Uh, how could I sleep through such an important call? But somehow I did. Um, yeah, I, I, that's, that uh, story is true. So I, I woke up at just before 3 a.m. My phone was buzzing and I could see there were a bunch of uh, missed calls. And the person calling was a reporter from Nature Magazine who said, um, you know, what's your response about the Nobel Prize? And I said, oh my gosh, I just woke up. I, I haven't seen the news. Who won the prize? And she said, oh no, you're kidding. You haven't heard. So it was uh, uh, a wild start to the day for sure. And, uh, you know, I would just say that, so I grew up in Hilo and I'm Hilo girl and a, Hilo, a very proud Hilo High School grad, Viking, go Vikings. And, uh, you know, I, I, I could have never imagined, I mean, that's really where I, I started to think to myself, boy, it would be really fun to be a scientist. I wonder if I could grow up and be a scientist. And uh, boy, in those days, I could have never, ever, ever imagined that uh, morning of receiving that phone call. Um, but you know, it's been a really great journey. And I, I have to give a lot of credit to my, my teachers uh, going, going back to my, I was a you know, public school uh, kid in Hawaii. And you know, we had some really great teachers who uh, really taught us kids that science is about solving puzzles. It's about a process of discovery. And that's how I've always viewed it, you know, even now I, you know, I wake up every morning and that the first thing I'm thinking about is, you know, what's cooking in the lab and I wonder what cool results we have. Love that interview. What a cool woman. Yeah. There. yeah. From the